for the next exercise, what we have is a matrix C, which is a 3x3 three three matrix, and then we have an equation where C is featured. We have C squared here and C here. We have the identity matrix, and we know the result of that equation. In the middle, we have this variable K, this number K, and we need to find out what the value of K is. We're going to start by calculating the square of C. So C squared is going to be C times C, basically. We have 2, 1, 1, and 1, 1, 1. This times 0, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, and 1, 1, 1. We're going to get another 3 by 3 matrix. The first element here is going to come from multiplying row 1 times column 1. So we're going to have 0 times 0 plus 1 times 2 which is 2, plus 1 times 1, which is 1, so it's 2 plus 1, 3. The second element here on the first row is going to be coming from multiplying row 1 times column 2. So we're going to get 0 times 1 is 0, 1 times 1 is 1, plus 1 times 1, which is another 1, so it's 1 plus 1, 2. And so on. If we keep multiplying our matrix, we'll get the following matrix and the last row is going to be 3, 3 and 3. Okay. So at this point we have our c squared here. The next term is k times c. As k is a number, when we multiply a number times a matrix, what we get is the number multiplying each and every term in the matrix. k times 0 is 0, so that element is not going to be changing. The other elements are going to get multiplied by k. So we have kk k on the first row, 2k, k and k on the second row, and then we have 3k's on the last row. That's our second matrix, adding in the equation, and then plus and i is the identity matrix for this size, which is 3 by 3, so it's going to be a matrix with 1's in the diagonal and 0 everywhere else. So 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. This is our equation. This equals the matrix above there. Now at this point what we're going to be doing is adding the matrices and getting an equation to solve that value for k. So for the first element, first row, first column here, there's no k value here, so we're going to skip that one and just go to the next value. So element 1, 2, this 2 value here, plus element 1, 2 on the second matrix, which is k, plus element 1, 2 on this one here, which is 0, is equal to 4. That means that k is equal to 4 minus 2, And this is the solution. Okay, k is equal to 2. If we check for another element, let's say this second row, first element, so element 2, 1, we have 3 plus 2k two, plus, two plus 0 equals 7. Let me write it here. 3 plus 2k plus 0 equals 7. We bring the 3 over there, that gives us 2k equals 4. And again, to confirm our previous result, k is equal to 4 over 2, which is 2. 